Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host, Laura, and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. In this digital age, even handmade gifts are being redefined. Jamala.com is a site that allows users to create their own 3D video games for free without any previous programming or design knowledge. Currently, Jamala is running a promotion to get users to create video games for their friends and family as gifts. For the holidays, Jamala offers plenty of seasonal objects such as gift boxes, wreaths, colored lights, and for the slightly more morbid holiday, some frosty skulls. The promotion will last up until Christmas Day, and Jamala will add one holiday item to the inventory each day. It seems like the do-it-yourself macaroni holiday card just won't cut it in 2011. A new mobile app can help you save money on video games. The newly released Game Prices iPhone app helps you save money on games and it's available for free in the Apple App Store. The app is an extension of the Game Prices website, which is a free service that monitors all the major retailers such as Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, and Walmart for the lowest prices and notifies users when price drops occur so gamers can focus on playing more video games instead of spending their time hunting down deals. Features of Game Prices app includes anticipated releases, a barcode scanner, and upcoming release dates. A paid version of the app will be released later in this month, and will include price alert notifications. The new PlayStation Vita is finally on sale in Japan. The Vita is the first major overhaul of the Sony handheld since the PlayStation Portable went on sale in 2004. Sony needs this new handheld device to revitalize its game business and lure customers increasingly turning to Apple iPhones for entertainment. Success is critical for Sony after the gaming landscape was reshaped by price cuts from bigger rival Nintendo and the growing popularity of games available on smartphones. At first, core gamers may bolster the sales of the Vita, but it's doubtful those sales will be sustained for long without casual gamers. The Wi-Fi version of the Vita costs 24,900 yen, or $319, while the 3G model costs $385. Owners of home video game consoles are spending more time with their systems, but not necessarily to play video games. Overall time spent each week with game systems is up 7% over the first half of 2011, according to a new report from Nielsen. The availability of increased video streaming content such as Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, and video on demand services has led to more engagement in general across all three major home consoles. Video streaming now accounts for 33% of time spent with the Wii, 15% with the PS3, and 14% with the Xbox 360, according to the research firm's survey of 3,000 console owners aged 13 and up. Overall, the video streaming on home consoles has increased 6% in the last year. Other uses such as listening to music and surfing the net have dropped across all of the consoles. Now for some games releasing this week. Star Wars The Old Republic is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game based in the Star Wars universe developed for Microsoft Windows. Players will join as members of either of two main factions, the Galactic Republic and the Sith Empire. The game's key focus is to differentiate between the player's faction and morality. For instance, a member with ties to the Galactic Republic may belong to the dark side while attempting to achieve their own ends, which may be misaligned or dissimilar from the Republic's vision. That's all the news I have for today. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Love and peace from my PC to yours.